good afternoon everyone so today we are going to discuss dps 10 cbsc periodic test that was held today as in july 22nd all right so question jumbled up the as in kuch bachcho ko first question ye mila hoga kuch ka maybe seven hoga right so ordering obviously is not fixed right so let's begin the first question is if the second term of an ap is 13 second term all right second term is a plus b and this is equal to 13 right and the fifth term is 25 fifth term as in a plus 4d that is equal to 25 right and i am interested in the seventh term as in mujhe nikalna kya hai a plus 60 basically a and b ki values nikalni hai done now two equations so crack kar dete hain so this will become minus 3d equal to minus 12 crack kar di dono equations this turns out to be d is equal to 4 right ab a ki value nikalni hai d ki value kisi equation mein put kar do maine first mein put kar di so this is a plus 4 equal to 13 a turns out to be 9 right a plus 6d nikalna hai So a that is nine plus six into d is four six into four so twenty four plus nine that is thirty three so that means option two or option b is the correct one so the next question is the fifth term of an ap is minus three fifth term as in a plus four d right this is equal to minus three. And he says the common difference is minus four, so d is equal to minus four, right? And I want to find the sum of its first ten terms, right? Oh, d to what? In fact, I will just a b plus plus zero. Why? D ki value na substitute karo. This is a plus four into minus four. That is minus sixteen equal to minus three. So a turns out to be thirty. राइट मुझे ए पता है डी पता है मुझे क्या निकालना है सम ऑफ इट्स फर्स्ट टेन टर्म फॉर्मूला लगा लेते हैं एस टेन इज इक्वल टू टेन बाई टू इंटू टू इंटू फर्स्ट टर्म तो टू इंटू थर्टीन दैट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस एन माइनस वन दैट इज नाइन इंटू डी विच इज माइनस फोर दिस टर्न आउट टू बी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस थर्टी सिक्स Right, so this is five into minus ten, which turns out to be minus fifty. So option B is the correct one. All right. So the next question: the nth term of an AP is given by nth term. So that means a n. This is equal to three plus four n. Right. And I am interested in the common difference. Common difference as in difference between consecutive terms. Right. अब ए एन पता मुझे यस यहां से मैं ए वन निकाल सकती हूँ दैट विल टर्न आउट बी थ्री प्लस फोर और सेवन राइट देन ए टू निकाल सकती हूँ दैट इज थ्री प्लस एट दैट इज इलेवन नाउ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कंजेक्टिव टर्म बी इज इक्वल टू इलेवन माइनस सेवन दैट इज फोर सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट वन सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू ए of the same have the same common difference the difference in first term is 7 then what is the difference in tenth term right two ap's have the same common difference right and the first term differ by 7 all right so a ke bhi le le to a a plus c a plus 2d and so on right now second ap the first term ke beech mein difference kya hai 7 Right, so a की जगह मैं लेती हूँ a plus seven. Difference is seven, right? And common difference is six. So ये क्या होगा? a plus seven plus d. ये क्या होगा? a plus seven plus two d. And so on, right? I think answer is pretty simple. Difference in the tenth term. Tenth term के बीच में difference क्यों आना चाहिए? Difference तो seven ही रहेगा. अच्छा नहीं समझ रहा? Fine. समझ नहीं आता तो देख लेते हैं. Now, इस ap की tenth term होगी क्या? A plus 9D, right? Is AP की tenth term क्या होगी? First term is A plus 7 plus 9D. Difference क्या है? 7. Answer is option C. 
All right. So next question: The sum of first five multiples of three is first five multiples of three. ठीक है? So three, six, nine, twelve, fifty. Sum करना? Right. Ah, three plus six nine. Nine plus nine eighteen. Eighteen plus twelve that is thirty. Thirty plus fifteen that is forty-five. Answer is option A. इसमें ए पी का मैसेज लगाने की देर वॉज नो नीड क्यों हार्डली टाइनी से नंबर है तुम्हारे पास फाइव फाइव एट दम अच्छा लगाना ही है ए पी का फॉर्मूला फाइव तो टर्म्स कितने हैं फाइव सो फाइव बाय टू इन टू अब फर्स्ट टर्म बता है लास्ट टर्म बता है सो थ्री प्लस फिफ्टीन दैट इज एटीन और राइट सो द नेक्स्ट वन इफ दिस 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 आर एन ए पी देन एक्स इज इक्वल टू ऑप्शन D is the correct one. All right. So the next question is: the list of numbers minus ten, minus six, minus two, two is right. Check करना है हमने options दे रखे हैं. Now this is the check कर लेते हैं. Now difference minus six minus minus ten. ये हो गया four, right? Difference check करो. Oh, four. Difference check करो. Four. That means definitely it is an AP with common difference four. So option B is the correct one. So the next question is: the tenth term from the end of the AP. Tenth term, let me from the end. मतलब भी ये first term है, यहाँ पे second होगी, third होगी. मुझे लिखने हैं tenth term. एक बार बताओ. अच्छा अगर ऐसे AP है, reverse तो क्या लिखूँ? Minus thousand. अच्छा यहाँ पे term कौन सी आनी थी? Minus nine hundred and ninety-five. ये तो समझ आता है, right? Because यहाँ पे फाइव सब ट्रैक्ट हो रहा है माइनस फाइव सो दैट मीन्स यहाँ पे एड होगा सो दैट्स वाइ माइनस नाइन नाइनटी फाइव एंड सो वन टू माइनस फाइव राइट ये भी तो एक एपी होगी और टेन टर्म लिखनी थी ना फ्रॉम दे दैट मीन्स यहाँ पे टेन टर्म लिखनी है लिख लेते हैं फर्स्ट टर्म इज माइनस थाउजेंड प्लस नाइनटी नाइन इंटू डी इसके इसमें डी So this is minus thousand plus forty five. That is minus nine hundred and fifty five. Or I can say option A is the correct one. All right. So the next question: the any term of an AP is any term. Let me. That means A, which is seven plus n minus one into D. Common difference. So they can run five over, right? So they get this seven plus five n minus five. So this is five n plus two, right? Option A is the correct one. This is the one you see, right? If I tell you, tell me. Any term of an AP, first term seven, right? Here, you have to put n one put it, right? Five plus two, that is seven. Or if you put one put it, definitely seven will come. So answer is the one you see. All right. So next question: If the common difference of an AP is five. D is equal to five, right? Then find a eighteen minus a thirteen. A eighteen minus a thirteen. एक बात बताओ, ये डिफरेंस पूछ रहा है ना? Thirteen टर्म में मैं कितने कॉमन डिफरेंस ऐड करूँगी कि मुझे eighteen टर्म मिल जाए? Five कॉमन डिफरेंस. और कॉमन डिफरेंस दे रखा है, so five into five twenty five. Difference तो twenty five ही होगा. अब ये तो दिखना चाहिए था, I think. अच्छा मेथड लगाना है अब तो मैं मेथड भी लगा लेते हैं a 18 as in a plus 17d minus a 30 as in a plus 12d तो आंसर इस 5d तो 5 into 5 that is 25 ऑप्शन c is the correct one so the next question in an ap d is minus 4 n is 7 and a n is 4 then a is राइट एन सेवन है तो बेसिकली मुझे गिवन क्या है ए सेवन टर्म ए सेवन है फोर अब सेवन टर्म होती क्या है ए प्लस सिक्सटी दिस इज इक्वल टू फोर अच्छा डी की तो वैल्यू बताया दैट इज माइनस फोर यहाँ पे डाल दो माइनस फोर राइट 
So A equal to 4 plus 24. So this is equal to 28. Option D is the correct one. Alright. So the next question. He says if 7 times the 7 term of an AP is equal to 11 times its 11 term. 7 times the 7 term. But the 7 into A7 equal to 11 times its 11 term. So 11 into A11. Right? Then 18 term. A18 chaya. Right? Or I can say A plus 17 D chaya. Alright. Now, your relation is. Right? So 7 into A7 ki value like this here. A plus 60 equal to 11 into A11 will be A plus 10 D. Open up kare bracket. So, yaan pe aajata hai 11 A plus 110 D. Or yaan pe hanta hai 7 A plus 42 D. Right? Transpose everything to that side. So, 4 A plus 110 minus 42 D. 68 D equal to 0. So, common factor? Yeah, 4 is the common factor. Cancel out current. So, A plus 17 D equal to 0. Asa, mujhe nikalna kya tha? A plus 17 D. Vahi nikalna tha. This is equal to 0. So, option D is the correct one. Alright. So, the next one. The next term of the AP. Root 18, root 50, root 98. So, simplify it. Root 18. So, 18 is 9 into 2. Root lena hai. So, A ho jayega. 3 root 2. Right? Then, 50 is 25 into 2. Right? So, this becomes 5 root 2. Then, 98. 49 into 2. So, that is 7 root 2. And so on. This is the AP. So, the next term is the Right? Common difference kya hai? 2 root 2. So, next term will be 9 root 2. But, obviously, I have to form me likhna hai. So, I have to form 9 square 81. Bracket ke andar leh jati ho. 81 into 2. This is 162, root 162. Option C is the correct one. Alright, so the next one. Now this is a subjective type. That means we will write some steps at least. Okay? So note down the steps which you have to write in the main board exam. Cool. So the question is, find the sum of all two digit natural numbers which when divided by 7 yield 1 as the remainder. Right? All two digit numbers. Now, two digits start with 10, 11, 12, la, la, la. so until 99. Now, I need those numbers which leave the remainder 1 when divided by 7. I say 10 ko divide by 7. Se. The remainder will be 3. 11, the remainder will be 4. 12, the remainder will be 5. Yaha pe, this will be 6. Ha, when I divide 14 by 7, the remainder will be 0. Right? Next is 15. Right? So, when I divide 15 by 7, the remainder will be 1. So, my first number is yeah, that is 15. Right? Can you give the next number? Divisibility by 7. Hai. Next number will be 22. And then next, 29. And so on. Now, I will last me where I go. End of the 99. Now, divide 99 by 7 and tell me the remainder. Oh, remainder is 1. Great. So, 99 is Right? Now, what you can call it is sum. So, definitely, this is an AP. First term is 15. Common difference is 7. Right? Ah, but I don't number of terms. Nahi and let's find it out. Number of terms. I don't know how many terms are. Right? I will suppose that these are n terms. Which will make 99 be a this term. Right? N term as in A N is 99. Now you have Right? Then A N you can write as A plus N minus 1 into D equal to 99. Right? Then you substitute the value of A which is 15 plus N minus 1 into D. Common difference is 7. Right? Equal to 99. So, 15 ko the leja. So, that will give you 84. Yes, step to me likhna padega, right? Cool. And um, 84 divided by 7, that is 12. Right? So, n turns out to be 13. These are 13 terms. Right? 13 terms. Quite in a 18 formula. Now, 
फॉर्मूला लगाने से पहले यू नीड टू राइट एस एन फॉर्मूला क्या होता था एन बाई टू इन टू टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी राइट एक और फॉर्मूला भी होता था दैट वॉज एन बाई टू इन टू ए एन प्लस ए ए वन प्लस ए एन एज इन फर्स्ट प्लस लास्ट टर्म राइट यू डिसाइड कौन सा लगा एन तो ऑब्वियसली आ चुका अभी निकाल फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट टर्म फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट टर्म को बताइए सो आई विल ऑफ फॉर दी सेकेंड वन निकालें तो एस थर्टीन इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन बाई टू ए वन दैट इज फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन प्लस द लास्ट टर्म दैट इज नाइनटी नाइन राइट सो दिस टर्म आउट टू बी थर्टीन बाय टू इन टू वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन राइट एंड दिस कैलकुलेट करो एंड दिस टर्म आउट टू बी सेवन फोर्टी वन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी वन यस तुम्हें और थोड़े स्टेप्स लिखने पड़ेंगे लाइक यू नीड टू से दैट दिस इज एन ए पी विद फर्स्ट टर्म फिफ्टीन गवर्न डिफरेंस सेवन यू नीड टू राइट ऑल दैट डाउन इफ यू वॉन्ट फुल मार्क्स The next question is again. This is a subjective type. That means we need to write some step, right? So, which term of the sequence 114, 109, 104, and so on is the first negative term? Now, first of all, this is a sequence. First, I need to check whether this is an AP or not. Okay, so check again. We'll see T2 minus T1. T2 minus T1. That is minus five. Then t3 minus t2, t3 minus t2, that is equal to minus 5. So differences are same. That means this is an arithmetic progression with common difference as minus 5. अब ये step तुम्हें लिखना पड़ेगा. Yeah. ठीक है. So this is an AP with the first term 114 and common difference is minus 5. Right? He is asking me which term of the sequence. Or I can say which term of the AP is the first negative term. First negative term. Obviously, 114, 109, 104. कहीं भी जाके negative term होगी. And मुझे निकालनी है first negative term. Right? Now मैं मान लेती हूँ कि any term is the first negative term. As in, I can suppose that a n is less than equal to zero. Negative as in a n less than equal to zero, right? A n as in a plus n minus one into t is less than zero. A की वैल्यू पुट करो. This is 140 plus n minus one into t. T is minus five. Less than zero, right? अब 114 को ट्रांसपोज करते हैं. So n minus five, n minus one into minus five less than minus 114, right? अब माइनस फाइव से डिवाइड करेंगे ये बन गया एन माइनस वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन बाई फाइव बाई दिस विल बी अप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट एट राइट वन को ट्रांसफोर्स करो दिस इज एन ग्रेटर देन ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट एट अब मुझे ये कंडीशन मिल गई राइट इसका मतलब क्या है एक बार स्टडी कर लें एन ग्रेटर देन ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट एट ओके नंबर लाइन पे स्टडी करते हैं सपोज ये जीरो है एंड यहाँ पे कहीं ट्वेंटी आता है एंड यहाँ पे है मेरा ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट एट देन नेक्स्ट इज ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव And so, obviously, my scale is not here, so don't take me on that. Now, n is greater than 23.8. 23.8 greater. That means 24 will come. Yes. 25 will come. Yes. 26 will come. Yes. So that means n 24 will come. 25 will come. 26 will come. And so on. Right? That means 24 term negative will come. 25 term negative will come. And so, मुझे क्या चाहिए थी? First negative term, first negative term, that is the twenty fourth term. So answer is twenty four, right? So that is the end of the discussion. So I hope तुम्हें अपनी गलती हम मिल गई हों या तुमने अपने answers match up कर लिए हों.
right so obviously you can pass this video on to your friends and that's it for this time and i'll see you next time